Welcome back to another video on Finance Value TV. Now, straight away off the bat, what we are seeing right now in Dogecoin is absolutely insane. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. So, over the last 12 hours or so, Dogecoin has simply rallied to absolutely insane new highs. If you've been someone that, that's been following the Dogecoin hype train, you've noticed that over this last month and over these last three months, Dogecoin has been going absolutely parabolic. Now, what has happened recently and in today's video, I'm going to be trying to tell you the three things that are going to happen next to Dogecoin and whether or not it's going to go up or whether or not it's going to go down. Okay, that's way too big. Didn't mean to do that. But that is what today's video is about. So let's firstly analyze what is going on right now because right now what's happening is very important and then we can get on to where the coin is going to be headed next. So right now, I made a video yesterday talking about Dogecoin and where it was headed next. And I did say that there was going to be a sharp drop, a small drop. Now, of course, this drop is going to be the people who have bought Dogecoin around here. When I was telling you guys on my channel, I've made many different videos about Dogecoin. And I did say when Dogecoin was hovering at around the 0.6 level and Elon Musk was tweeting about it, I said that this is a perfect time to buy and that this is not even a spike that we should be worried about. I told everyone everyone on my channel that I would be buying around this point and I did and of course as you guys can see this is the area where I did take some profits yesterday. So where is Dogecoin heading next because of course right now that's what everyone is wondering. So from yesterday within the last 48 hours it's been very interesting. We've seen Dogecoin do something absolutely amazing. You see the thing that's been amazing is that overall Dogecoin is actually at a new all-time high. I remember when Dogecoin was at this price point right here, people were saying that, wow, this is the highest Doge is going to go. There's so many different problems with Doge. And I did outline these problems. Now, I do want to say that if you are an investor in Dogecoin and if you do buy the coin, please understand what you're investing in. I do need you to understand that if you're someone who's just hearing about Doge because it's trending, please do your research before you invest in the coin. Because if you don't, you could end up losing a lot of money. And I think that's something that a lot of people suffer from. So where is Dogecoin heading next? So this is what we saw. We saw Dogecoin yesterday break the, you know, sort of resistance level. We, we broke the, um, you know, the all-time high of 0 0.89 around yesterday. And the thing is, this spike that just recently happened that we just saw is very, very, very quick, okay, because we saw two. We saw that initial burst, okay, out of nowhere, and then we saw a second burst, okay. So the thing is right now, Dogecoin is once again trending again, okay, and you have to understand, all right, that cryptocurrencies do this all the time. Now, Dogecoin isn't just going to, you know, keep going up and up and up and up and up. With every single cryptocurrency, what's going to happen and what the trend is, is there are spikes, like we can see here, and then there are small declines, and then there are spikes again, okay? And then there's sometimes in some coins, you have these periods, okay, where there's nothing going on, all right? There's just going to be absolutely pretty much dead. Now, the thing is, you have to understand when these dead points are and when these points are that you should be buying and the points where you should be selling because we've seen this with Dogecoin already. Remember, first, first time in the year, this is what happened, okay? If you paid attention around in the year when Dogecoin just shot up, it kind of went down a bit and then it shot up again and then it went down a bit again. Now, of course, that seems very basic, but this is something that people don't understand. People tend to overcomplicate things, okay, because it was trending and it went up. And then I remember when it was trending and I was telling the people around here that, you know, it was trending, but people were still talking about it. And I said that this is going to pop up again, but because nobody else is talking about it right now, this is the time to buy. So where is it going to be heading next? In my honest opinion, with Dogecoin right now, and one thing you need to understand is that we have to look at coin market cap because coin market cap is very, very important. So coin market cap, let's take a look at coin market cap and let's see, okay, what is going on here? Because um, one thing people need to understand is that Bitcoin does play a huge importance on where cryptocurrencies are are going to be and how important and how far they actually do get pushed and pumped up. Now, Dogecoin, you need to understand the influence factors that like influence coin. The first thing is of course going to be Bitcoin, the, you know, most valuable crypto in the world that everybody knows about and that's literally bringing people into the cryptocurrency space. You need to know that, you know, as Bitcoin increases, the relative chance for other coins to increase 
is greatly increased. And what I mean by this is pretty much the higher the price of Bitcoin goes, the higher the price of other cryptos can go because we all understand that Bitcoin is always going to remain the number one dominant cryptocurrency. For how long? We don't know, but we can just confidently predict that the Bitcoin market cap is never going to be surpassed by any of these other coins. Meaning that when Bitcoin is going up and up and up, it's always going to be an interesting time to be purchasing altcoins. And altcoins are pretty much any coins that are, you know, these coins right here, you know, Ethereum, Binance, XRP, Cardano, all these other coins, but we're focused on Dogecoin. So for Dogecoin, what is the next sort of catalyst? In my previous video, I talked about this catalyst before, but I'm going to mention some of them again. Now, Elon Musk is someone that has been a vocal supporter for Dogecoin, you know, for some time now, but this is something that not a lot of people have paid attention to. People have just taken it as hearsay and people have said, okay, he's pumped up the coin and he's not really doing anything with it. You have to understand that this person is the most influential person when it comes to tech and innovations and a lot of things that are going online in the online marketplace, especially when it comes to cryptocurrency. So for Elon Musk to be a vocal supporter of Dogecoin, and you have to understand that this is something that he hasn't tweeted about once. One thing that you need to understand is that trends come and go, okay? And it might be trending now, but Elon Musk has been continually supporting this coin. Now, of course, we can see this tweet here. He already said a Doge barking at the moon. And he previously mentioned, albeit it was on April the 1st, that he may put an actual Dogecoin on the moon. Now, of course, this could be a literal joke. As, as I mentioned before, this could be a joke. But if this happens, this is going to be a major catalyst for the coin. Now, as Elon Musk continues to tweet about the coin, you have to understand that I think the next major catalyst, okay, the next major thing that's going to take Dogecoin to like the absolute roof is that there's two major things, okay? One of them, is that Elon Musk is probably going to do something with the developers, I hope. This is not a guarantee, but there's sufficient indication to indicate that the Dogecoin developers are working on stuff and Elon Musk is working on a sort of update or maybe a sort of offshoot of the coin. Now, the reason I know this is most likely going to happen is for two reasons. So Elon Musk currently does follow the Dogecoin developers, okay? He does follow the developers. So if this man is following the Dogecoin developers, it means he could be in contact with them about a sort of update or a sort of hard fork of the coin. By hard fork, I mean a version of Dogecoin which is going to be new, much better with newer tech and doesn't have the previous problem of wallet concentration. So the reason I think this is going to happen is because previously in my video, if you're someone that's new to Dogecoin, you probably don't know that there's a major issue with the coin. So the problem with Dogecoin and the problem that needs to be solved and it's going to be solved is that Dogecoin has around 28% of its coins in one wallet. Okay, so if we look at the percentage of coins, we can see that 28% is in one wallet, which is absolutely insane. And we can see the value of that, which is around $6 billion. Now, many people are speculating that this is Robinhood and this is probably a different exchange or could be one person. But this is an issue that needs to be solved, which leads me to believe that Elon Musk and the developers are working on fixing this because for any coin to go anywhere, this is impossible. You don't see this in any other cryptocurrency. So this is something that is very, very, very negative for Dogecoin investors and for those expecting future returns. So you have to understand the level of risk that you have with Dogecoin. And this is a huge, huge risk. So I think that somehow they're probably going to solve this issue. I would like to see the issue resolved. And that's going to be the next major catalyst because if this is solved, then Dogecoin can go really, really far. The next major major catalyst is the coinbase dogecoin now if we type in dogecoin coinbase okay and we see elon okay um you have to understand that okay if i can find the tweet dogecoin is being pumped to become coinbase friendly now we can see right here that this is something that elon Musk actually tweeted about okay he said hi elon i saw a report that coinbase was used for the tesla, Bit tesla bitcoin purchase nice entry by the way do you think coinbase should enable dogecoin on their platform it would enable many folks to easily access dogecoin and he says yes so there's someone that vocally supports the fact that dogecoin isn't really being accessed by the major wider crypto markets because if we go on dogecoin of course you know the price is increasing but if we go on actual coin market cap but if we go on coin market cap, and as you guys can see, if we scroll down to where Dogecoin is, we can see the markets where Dogecoin is currently being traded on. So if we go all the way down, we can see that Dogecoin, the major market that's being traded on is Binance. Okay. And that's the major, major place where people are trading coins. Now, we can see that that holds 25% of the volume. And we can see 7%, 6%. 
But you have to understand that people are missing out, okay? And people are losing out on the hub, on the insane volume that is Coinbase, okay? The Coinbase IPO yesterday, which was a pretty bad IPO considering they lost, um, you know, around 30% of their market cap in, you know, around 24 hours. But that doesn't really matter. What matters is people are missing out on the 14, 43 million users that could now access Dogecoin, which is definitely going to increase the price. So we've got two major catalysts that are coming up. We don't know when these catalysts are coming up just yet. But another third catalyst that could be something that influences the price of Dogecoin is someone else now this person does have a decent amount of notoriety not as much as Elon Musk but at the same time they have been tweeting about Dogecoin and this is something that I haven't seen people pay attention to okay if you're someone that holds Dogecoin all right you have to have seen okay Mark Cuban he tweeted about this okay um I don't know where exactly the tweet is but he tweeted about Dogecoin multiple times on many separate occasions he even sold NFTs that have Dogecoin on them so he's been a very very vocal supporter of the coin he's even you know facilitated transactions in dogecoin which is just i don't know why people aren't paying attention so you have to pay attention to what technically smart money is saying so maybe this is a me maybe everyone's just pumping it and so maybe this is all going to crash tomorrow however you have to understand the next major catalyst so here it is this is the you know nft that he you know sold for sale it's raining dodge as you guys can see there's a dogecoin in his hand right there and of course this is something that people didn't pick up on, okay? This only got 290,000 views, which isn't a lot, okay? But for those of you who saw this, I'm like, wait a minute, okay? This guy, okay, this super rich dude is tweeting about this, okay? Selling an NFT on this, okay? Why would he be doing that if he hated the cryptocurrency or he thought it was, you know, um, terrible, okay? So for some reason, you know, you can't buy this anymore. But at the same time, this is um, this is this is going to be a major catalyst if he announces something, some sort of collaboration with a Dogecoin. So, so you have to understand the next major catalyst for the coin. So, for every different coin, okay, there's different catalysts, and a catalyst is something that's going to increase the price of the coin. Now, for for example, if you know about Bitcoin. Um, the halving event is a major catalyst. The next major catalyst for Bitcoin is going to be more widespread adoption, integration into Visa, integration into PayPal, integration into, you know, all of these, you know, companies that previously looked down on Bitcoin that are now starting to accept it as payments. For example, when Tesla accepted the payment of Bitcoin, the value shot up. So these are the major catalysts. And these are the things you need to understand that will start the upward momentum and the upward trend. Okay, those are the things that you need to look for when looking for the coin. Now, should you buy right now? Some people are asking, should I buy Dogecoin right now? Should I buy? My personal opinion is I I personally never buy coins that are just, you know, upwards momentum, okay? Because what tends to happen, and if we look at the past, okay, is that when there is a parabolic move like this, when it goes straight up, it tends to come straight down. It doesn't go all the way down. It goes to a higher high, okay? Even here, you guys can see it went up, but it went down and it stays that point for a while. So the thing is, if you buy, okay, and let's say, for example, let me just scroll down, okay? If you buy, okay, and let's say, for example, you're someone who needs the money because a lot of us, um, you know, a lot of people are struggling right now, okay? So if you bought, okay, let's just zoom in a bit here so you can get some better visibility. If you bought at, let's say you bought around here, or if you bought around, you know, let's say you bought around here, you're going to have to wait quite some time for you to get your money back. And that's the problem that most people don't realize, okay? When you buy when it's surging, you're risking buying around this zone. And if you buy at this point right here, you can see that the, the price declined for the next, you know, next two months and you would have been in the red and you probably would have sold. So you have to understand that when you buy, okay, around these points when there's nothing really being said, you're at less risk. So me personally, I don't like buying when the coin just surged because, you know, the coin could go down to a new higher high. We don't know where the support is. We don't know where the resistance is. These levels haven't been established and if these levels haven't been established, then I don't know if I'm going to buy at a loss, okay? So um, that's my personal opinion. So I personally, I'm not buying any more Doge right now. I personally am going to wait for it to go down a little bit because it's trending right now and trends come and go. And of course, when it comes out of the trending space, then it might be time to buy um, and wait for another catalyst. So um, who knows? I could be giving you bad advice. Dogecoin could be going to buy literally, you know, 50 cents by, you know, next week. It could keep going up and up and up. At the end of the day, do your own research. If you want to buy and you're thinking, okay, this coin is going to go up anyways, I'm just going to buy and not look at it for around three months, then do that. But understand that, that cryptocurrency is truly volatile. Cryptocurrency is really volatile, okay? 
and prices go up, prices go down. And this is something that you can't just have in a portfolio and not look at. This is something that you have to actively look at, manage and watch. But you also have to be able to stomach those losses and watching the price fluctuate on a daily basis without having fear. Okay, so if you did enjoy the video and if you do have any questions, leave it in the conversation below. I'll be trying to respond to as many as I can. But I'll see you all in the next video.